Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Happy Saturday, if you're watching this on a Saturday. If not, happy whatever day you're watching. Today is day three of reading the book of, excuse me, the Gospels of Matthew. We are on chapter three. So, uh, let us start. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John I had a raiment of camel's hairs and a leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locust and wild honey that means he ate bugs and wild honey while he lived in the wilderness then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the in all the region round about Jordan and where he baptized him of him in Jordan confessing their sins but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism he said unto them O generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come bring forth therefore fruits meet with repentance and think not to say within yourselves we have Abraham to our father for I say unto you that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire I need baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than I he's talking about Jesus there whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Saying he's not worthy of Jesus' shoes. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the grainer. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answered, said unto him, Wow, he didn't even want to baptize Jesus. You know, that's something. He wanted Jesus to baptize him. Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, and Jesus went, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descend like a dove and lighten upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son. In whom I am well pleased. That's not saying that the Spirit of God was a dove and came down, but He came down as gently as a dove. And He only does that to Jesus because for all of us who experience the Holy Spirit, it is more like a fire, it is a very hot sensation. Mm, to, be, to be present. When God spoke from heaven like that, that had to be something. I don't know how I would actually personally handle something like that. I couldn't tell you. And the Bible doesn't tell any of us how they handled it either. But hey, if you guys made it this far, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you're starting to get things out of it as we continue to go and learn through the Gospels of Jesus' life. That's where we do Matthew. We're going to do Mark, Luke, and John. But uh, I thank you guys. I love you. Jesus loves you.
Our Father God loves you. If you haven't done so, it's time to come to Jesus. It's time to repent and live a life that mirrors his. If you ever need to talk to somebody about Jesus, my inbox on every social media platform that you see this on is more than open for you to talk to. Shalom.